just because you've heard of a challenge doesn't mean that you should take part. This, this whole Davido thing was a clear indicator, auntie. Tuongere manyi mza TikTok, oh. Okay, for those that are not aware, last week Davido challenged his friends and fans to contribute a hundred million naira for him to clear taxes for his Rolls Royce. So uh, our local star Palaso jumped onto the challenge, um, but it, it challenged him. Because after an hour, Davido had 40 million, and for Palaso, after a day, he had 4 million Uganda shillings. That's that's less than half a million naira. I, I think Palaso just asked us at the wrong time because as a country, we're going through fundraiser fatigue. We're over collecting money for things. Every Ugandan is in a minimum of like 13 WhatsApp groups collecting money for something and they have not contributed yet. Anan is even asking for 100 million. Simple matters. Surprise birthday party. Small, small 35k, but friendships are ending. People are, are moving around wearing masks. Because they are avoiding someone bumping into them and telling them, why are you siding to that group? Most of these groups, the party doesn't even happen. The admin just wakes up one day and throws everyone off the group. <laughs> the surprise happens too soon. Even groups that were started for fun are starting to find reasons to collect money. You just there, abruptly someone posts, ah, guys, let us collect some money. Uh, because you never know. <laughs> Bridal showers. Too far. Church house. Baby showers. <laughs> You're old. Now Palaso is adding himself to the picture. <laughs> Doing something because someone did it in Nigeria. <laughs> so, yeah. The forces in Uganda are different from things happening from any other part of the world. You take example of the five Eritrean ladies that came for football and disappeared. In other countries, police would send out a search team, look for them, get them after like 30 days, then deport them back to their countries. <laughs> the ones that disappeared in Uganda, police didn't even call a press conference. We didn't even talk about them. We're just certain that soon they will realize their mistake and take themselves back where they came from. Palaso goes further to say he's doing this to check if we love him. See, hey, Palaso, we, we, we love you. We love you. But tying it to a hundred million is just looking for an unnecessary reasons to call us fake friends. Don't complicate this rela relationship with money. What happened to unconditional love? A hundred million and loving you, those two things are not even related. <laughs> That's like telling Umemi, uh, Umemi to show us that you love us, next time it rains, let power not go. Umemi will be like, that doesn't even make sense. Love is unconditional. Hey, don't put rain into these things. It's, it's the same thing that is happening here. Don't put a hundred million in our relationship. First, we just love you. Muli inside. Munda muli in. Words can't express. And you're lucky we are not contributing. You don't want to be there and Ugandans gave you their money. <laughs> Ask government. Uh, government is even big. Ask for my MP Katoro Back in 2015, people contributed to his heart surgery. But he will never hear the end of it. The man, the man says people can find him out like in a restaurant and they immediately be like, huh? Go call a brunje. Tolia masavo. Toduka dukai. Wewa linkaya nae. You don't want to get free money from Ugandans. We'll be seeing you in your Range Rover and we're wondering why you're wearing shades. We'll be there like, since we helped him, he became proud. We shall be expecting lifts. But also Nigeria asking for 100 million naira for one car in taxes. Eh. Ugandans, that is close to a billion Uganda shillings. Nigeria. Eh, which road are you constructing? Hmm? What, the Chinese want their money that bad? And it's understandable for Davido to reach his fans through Twitter. But Palaso's fans, Twitter... Different forces at play in this country. We, we even have different cultures around here. You, you see uh, at, at weddings. In Nigeria, the 
bride comes in, people are throwing money at her, putting money on her forehead and stuff. <laughs> in Uganda, the closest we come to giving you money, we bring it in an envelope. Because we also know the amount inside. Man, David knew his people. He was sent money from people he supported. The quality of your support can be seen in the people you support. So if you also claim you're helping people, can each of them send you one million? Can they? Stop accusing your, yourself falsely. His baby mama also contributed. Can your baby mama even? Hey, leave things happening in other places, in other places. For us, let us do our own things here. Who knew even begging needed connections? Some people called out Davido saying that he shouldn't uh, use this money to enrich his already rich self. <laughs> this man was given money by his friends. Ah, there's people who just want to give advice on money they didn't even contribute. You are the people who go around saying, this man shouldn't have built his hotel like this. If I was him, you will never be him. <laughs> well, you just go home and hit yourself in the chest. I am a witch. I am a witch. I am a witch. And this, this Davido situation has taught us something. You see how his people came through like two to three days already had like 400,000 USD. So tomorrow just go call all your friends for a meeting and just sit them down and look at them like this. He ended it all by adding more money and giving it all to charity. I hope Palaso knows how the challenge ends. Thank you.